the amount of opportunity online right now to make money is crazy. If you're anything like me, I'm always searching for opportunity to make more money, to optimize my time, and to make my websites get more traffic. And that's exactly what we're gonna do in this video. I'm gonna show you new tools that have turned my business upside down. I've had to recreate all of my standard operating procedures. My whole team has a new workflow based upon what I'm gonna show you in this video. So I'm betting you have not heard of the tool I'm gonna to show you in this video, and it's run by an incredibly smart team of people from Harvard. They have experience at Google. They have experience with OpenAI, and they've been able to raise $25 million in their initial seed round, which happened late last year, from people such as the former CEO of GitHub, Nat Friedman. We have the former president of Microsoft, the former CEO of YouTube, the creator of Gmail. These people are on their team. They're invested in this company to succeed. So it's no wonder why it's so powerful. So the tool is called perplexity.ai. Very, very powerful. I'm gonna do an overview, a top level overview, and then I'm gonna show you exactly how we're using it for my business, my websites. So perplexity.ai, you can type, ask anything. So what is the best way to um, fish on the upper Chesapeake Bay? Now that's you know where I live in Maryland, and let's see what it does. So this is very interesting. It says there are several ways to fish on the upper Chesapeake Bay. One popular method is casting and retrieving lures, which requires constant input from the angler. But here's what's very, very cool. Check this out, don't let this get by you. So it has one, two, three, four different sources, and I can control click each of them. And you're gonna see Chesapeake Bay fishing, um, secrets to the Chesapeake Bay revealed, Chesapeake Bay, The Complete Guide. These are reputable magazines and it's, or publications online rather, and it's able to draw from them immediately. Now I'm gonna show you why this matters so much for people who want to rank higher, specifically those who wanna have an affiliate website. So if we wanted to say, have a website on run-in, say run-in shoes, let's say we type into Google, the 10 best run-in shoes for women. Let's say that we've done the keyword research and we want to write an article that ranks for this. We want to have something similar to this. Runnersworld.com is the number one website for the 10 best running shoes for women, right? How would you go about writing this article? What would you do? Well, first step conventionally is you would look at your competition. You would look at CNN, CNBC, and we would see exactly what everyone is talking about oh this is common right the other website has lulumon okay we know that's good what are they talking about over here oh brooks they're talking about this brooks type glycerine and they're talking about hoka and so on and so forth so we would take all the websites we would put them together you know on a spreadsheet and say everyone has these commonalities in place therefore we need to talk about the brooks shoe so what can we do with perplexity we can say give me the 10 best running shoes for women. And here's what's cool. Do you see these little numbers here? One, two, three. Those are the citations. So everyone has Lululemon Blissfeel in common. One, two, three. Runners World does, CNN, and Times Guide. That means that we have to include that on our list. Do you get what I'm saying? If everyone's talking about Lululemon and you don't put it on your affiliate, the 10 best running shoes for women, um, you're doing something wrong. So what this does, perplexity, allows us to grab all of these at once, and we can push them to say ChatGPT to write a quick article on it. But it gets even better. I'm gonna show you the complete workflow now of how to take perplexity, how to take ChatGPT, and another tool that we've created, combine into one, and all of a sudden you have an affiliate blog post, and this works for niche websites too, that is absolutely insane. So this is the thriftywhale.com. This is my website. It's on outdoor things such as catfishing and ice fishing. I created it about six months ago, with the purpose of having an experiment website. So that's the fun thing about this channel. We do experiments. They cost me a lot of money, but it costs you nothing, and it gives everyone knowledge. But nonetheless, as you can see, we're getting a little bit of traffic. I think yesterday we got 35 clicks to the website. Very cool. So what we're going to do is create an affiliate blog post. We're going to have Amazon hooked up into it. If someone clicks on these Amazon links, we're going to make money. But how do we go about this? So we're going to go to our posts in here, we're gonna wait for it to load and hopefully WordPress is kind to us and allows us to do this. We're going to add new, add new post, let that load. What I want to do, okay, we're ready. We're ready to rock and roll right here, okay? But what I wanna do is go to perplexity and type in, tell me the 10 best fishing rods for catfishing, okay? 
immediately it's going to pump, pump out all these from adventure outdoor life field and stream catfish catfish edge these are the ones we're going to talk about step number one perplexity step number two push these to chat gpt um, give me the pros and cons of these all right step number three is to use our quick article workflow to eventually be called word galaxy I created this tool with a friend of mine who's luckily a very, very good developer. And what I'm going to type in here is something to supplement the article that we are creating over here and here. We're using three tools. So um, let's think here. Best catfish rod features. We're going to do conversational. We're going to do article length two. Hit create article and wait. Now listen, you can use this tool for free right now but you need a few things. You need an open AI key and you need to be a subscriber to ChatGPT Plus because if you don't, it's gonna throw errors. It's gonna throw errors because it's gonna time out the system because only people with ChatGPT Plus can kind of use an unthrottled open AI situation. That's the whole point of it. So it took about three minutes and then the article was completely done on the best catfish rod features, okay? Just scroll down here slowly. The ultimate guide to choosing the best catfish rod all right, we're going to kind of augment that a bit, the importance of choosing the right. It's all perfectly formatted with header structures, and it's a big article, too. So remember what we've done. We use quick article workflow right here. We use perplexity to find the actual items we want to talk about. And then we have the pros and cons up here. So let's have some fun. Let's grab this. Let's take it to here, and let's post it right here. Boom. Now let's look here. How many words? We have 25 hundred words. It probably cost me five cents to do that article with OpenAI tokens. This is a good basis for supplementary information on this article. We don't need this for the affiliate. Um, this is really good though. All right, we'll come back to that. Now what I want to do is grab all this ChatGPT stuff, right? Boom, right here. Let's go here, take out the head in and copy it. So what I'm able to do now, I have the exact rods that I want to talk about. What we're going to do for each and every one of them is we're going to make it a header. And then we're going to use AAWP. Now, when you have an affiliate website, sometimes you are going to use Amazon, but sometimes you're going to use other websites too in their links. So if people click through to say Home Depot, you can get affiliate um, kickback too. But for this, we're going to look for Amazon specifically. This tool is called AAWP. A lot of people ask me in the comments, I can't find it. I can't find AAWP um, in the plugin section of WordPress. Well, you have to Google this company. They're, they're, um, I guess that's the only way you can find them. But nonetheless, we're going to come here. There's two ways we can do this. You can click product boxes, and I could say, I want Berkeley shock rods. Um, let's say, or you can search here. Let's see if they come up, search. And let's see what happens. And there we go. There it is right there. We put it here. And all of a sudden, we have begun to build out a humongous 3,000 word affiliate website landing page. Um, now, what would be cool here, right? What would be cool here for the pros and cons? Would it be to have it in a table? Um, I would much prefer to have this in a table. So let's go to ChatGPT and see if we can do it. Uh, rewrite the pros and cons into into simple uh, tables. Let's see if it can do it. Oh no, it said regenerate. Let's try again. Nope, it's not going to happen. Let's grab it here. New chat. Rewrite the pros and cons into simple tables for each rod. Hmm. Don't know what's going on right now. That's okay. Nonetheless. What I would like to see is the pros and cons to be, you know, a little better. Um, but let's try this. Shakespeare Ugly Stick Catfish Rod. We're going to go to header, H2. We're going to come down here to AAWP. Let's copy this thing. Product boxes. Let's go to search. Let's type it in here, search products. And here it is. The ugly stick catfish special so because we use perplexity ai we know exactly what like the truly the best catfish rods are you can do this for your niche figure out what the best 
rods or shoes or helmets or chainsaws. It doesn't matter. Use perplexity. It'll tell you what Google deems as the best because these are the top search results. And then you can use this and you can supplement. You can grab everyone's items. Like they're saying this, they're saying this, but everyone's saying these ones. So that must be the top ones and combine them into a mega article like this. It's not hard to do. So once we would work through all of this, we would come down here and we would add some pictures. And guess what? Down here is your opportunity to interlink to other portions of your website. Very, very important. So interlinking matters a lot. That's when one part of your website points to another one. Oftentimes your supplementary articles would point to your money articles. This would be a money article. Um, but this is how you build it out. It doesn't have to be hard. The SEO title, uh, the slug would be the best. Um, catfish rods. That's what I would do. Um, and I would say, how many are there? The 10? The 10 best catfish rods for 2023. So the reason I can do in the title, the, the SEO title tag, I, I would do 2023, and you can change that every January. It's not a problem. Don't put a, a date in the slug. If you put right here, that's a problem because all of a sudden it's not an evergreen post. We can change this without getting dinged for, you know, our SERP results put a meta description, put a featured uh, image, and there you have it. So let's go over it one more time. Perplexity, type in whatever you want. What are the best uh, plants for indoor uh, air quality? Hit enter. This is gonna draw from a lot of different places. Um, air Health, Almanac, Medium, Look at this. Spider plants, rubber plants, and golden pothos. Uh, da, 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 bamboo palm. Awesome. Very, very good. You can do anything. Use this first. Push it to ChatGPT to give you pros and cons. And you could even ask it to give you a slight description on each of them. And then head over to our tool, quick article workflow, and get your supplementary info here. All right. I have a master class that goes over way, way deeper stuff than this. We go more in depth. Um, there's some things I will not discuss on the YouTube channel that are only for the masterclass. Um, there's, there are some secrets to SEO, particularly pertaining to backlinking. Um, I won't talk about here. So if you're interested, check that out. Um, so we have the masterclass. What else? We have the quick article workflow, obviously. So that's what we have too. And make sure to subscribe, like, and uh, yeah, a lot of good information coming. Hit me up in the comments. I read every comment and I uh, hope this was helpful. See ya.